what's he doing in there? The professor, a cultural anthropologist, has a visitor from Mars. The visitor's strange request has the professor's family in a frenzy. Where does the Martian want to go? The professor was congratulating Earth's first visitor from another planet on his wisdom in getting in touch before contacting any other scientists where the Martian stood up and said hesitantly, Excuse me, please, but where is it? That baffled the professor. The Martian repeated, Please, where is it? The professor's wife came to her husband's rescue. Top of the stairs, end of the hall, last door. The Martian's mouth curled happily downward. Thank you very much, and was off. After watching his visitor sway up the stairs, he rejoined his wife in the study. Who'd have thought it? By George, manners as strict as our own. I'm glad some of your professional visitors maintain him. But this one's from Mars, darling. And to find out he's, well, similar in an aspect of his life, is as thrilling as the discovery that water is burned hydrogen. Pop, the Martian's gone to the bathroom. Hush, dear. Manners. I followed him when he squiggled upstairs. Now, son, you shouldn't have done that. He's on a strange planet and it might make him nervous if he thought he was being spied on. He was interrupted mid-sentence by the professor's daughter. She regained her adolescent voice. Well, he's still in there. I thought he'd come downstairs long ago. He's been in there an awfully long time. It must have been a half hour ago that I saw him gyre upstairs, with Nosy here following him. By George, he is taking his time. Though, of course, we don't know how much time Martians... I wonder. I listened for a while, Pop. He was running the water a lot. Running the water, eh? We know Mars is a water-starved planet. I suppose that in the presence of unlimited water, he might be seized by a kind of madness. What's he doing in there? Twenty minutes later, the professor nerved himself for action and mounted the stairs and tiptoed down the hall. His family followed him at a short distance. The professor stopped in front of the bathroom door. He very gingerly tried the knob. The door was still locked. What's he doing in there? He may be dead or dying. Maybe we ought to call the fire department. No one but ourselves has the slightest inkling that the Martian is on Earth. Whatever we do, it will have to be on our own. Tell you what, Pop. I can look in the bathroom window and see what he is doing. All I have to do is crawl out my bedroom window and along the gutter a little ways. Hey, Pop. He's in there, sure enough. It's just that the bathtub's under the window and you have to get real close to see into it. The Martian's taking a bath. Drowned? No, Ma. I don't think so. What are you going to do? I'm going to wait until morning. So the long vigil commenced. Finally, dawn began to seep from the bedrooms. Just then, there was a loud splashing in the bathroom. The professor's family looked towards the door. The splashing stopped and they heard the Martian moving around. Good morning. I have never slept better in my life even in my own little wet bed back on Mars. But where did you all sleep? Don't tell me you stayed dry all night. You didn't give up your only bed for me. Oh dear, I am afraid I have made a mistake. Before I studied you, I didn't know what your sleeping habits would be. But that question was answered for me when I saw those TV scenes of your people getting ready for sleep in their little tubs. I'm afraid that somewhere I have blundered and... No, no, dear chap. Everything is quite all right. It's true we stayed up all night, but please consider that as a watch, an honor guard, which we kept to indicate our esteem. Everybody is doing it. In Hawaii, they hula, they tango in Argentina, they reggae in Jamaica and they rumba down in Cuba. In Trinidad and Tobago, they do the calypso and in Spain, the Spanish, they really do flamenco. In the Punjab, they pangra, 
how they dance Gatak in India. Over in Guatemala, they dance a sweet marimba. Even foxes dance a lot. They invented the foxtrot. In Australia, it's true, they dance to the didgeridoo. In Kenya, they benga. They high life in Ghana. They dance ballet all over and dry dance in Algeria. They jali in Mali. In Brazil, they samba. And the girls do belly dancing in the northern parts of Africa. Everybody does the disco, from Baghdad to San Francisco. Many folk with razzmatazz cannot help dancing to jazz. They do the jig in Ireland, and it is really true, they still modest dance in England when they can find time to. <laughs>